y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I'm doing a little bit of crafting. Now, I started this last night, and I was loading the Memory Decks video that I put last night, so I didn't get to film this envelope, but I thought I would make another one on camera because I can use this in my swap. Um, so anyway, here is the envelope that I have created. Isn't it so cute? And look at the back. Just so soft and sweet. I just love it. Um, but anyway, the papers that I used was like a Frank Garcia paper from, I like, last year. And this is part of another collection. And this is another collection. So just different ones. And I just grabbed the pinks and so forth. And as you see here, if you can see, I did stitch all the way around after I layered up my envelope to make it pretty and um yeah it just gave it so much um personality and it was just gorgeous see that just gorgeous so anyway i'm going to make another envelope now this one um on the envelope punch board if you have this punch board and if you don't it's a great tool to have this has been out for a very long time it's no not a new product or anything like that so we are memory keepers envelope punch board and so what you want to do is you want to select the size that you want of envelope that you would like to make and it tells you what size a card to make now this has been around a long time and most of you probably already know this but if you don't and if you're new to crafting this is a great video for you um this particular envelope i did i made it where it was going to be six by eight and a half and i used a piece of paper that was eleven and a half by eleven and a half Okay, for this particular one that I'm going to do in this color pink, um, I cut this one a nine and a half by nine and a half. It's gonna end up being like a five by seven. So that is what it's going to be. So I've already got my paper cut. And, and you know, if you are new to, if you're not new to crafting and you know how to do this, you might need a refresher. Or I'd love to have you just hang out. Just hang out with us. Okay, so I'm gonna do the paper. I cut it nine and a half by nine and a half. My card size, if I was gonna put a card in it, would be five by seven. And so I need to score at four, okay? So I've got my paper already cut at nine and a half by nine and a half. Let me take out my scoring tool. And I am going to br bring my paper over here and I'm gonna line it up with the four right here. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna punch and you're gonna score. There's like a little groove there and you're gonna score. Now, it's not gonna meet all the way because it kinda ends right here. But what I do is once I've got my score line, I just kinda go ahead and kinda help it so I can go ahead and find my crease there. And then you're gonna take it, and this is the way it was, you're gonna take it and flip it around and you're going to line up this little piece right here you see this little piece? You're gonna line that up on that score line and you're gonna punch and you're gonna score, okay? So now you're gonna take it and you're gonna turn it around, line up this little mark on the score line, punch and score. You know, I had kind of forgotten that I had this in my closet. Okay, and because I ran out of board over here, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold this one so I get that score line. And then I'm gonna line it up. But yeah, I, I, I forgot I had this in my closet. And I have a whole bin of like, we are memory keepers, all kinds of different punch boards. And I'm like, I need to use this. So I'm gonna punch and this will be my last score mark. Okay, so there we go. Now we have the shape of our envelope. Okay, let me get the trash shelf here. Put my envelope punch board to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just fold and fold my creases, okay? Okay, so there we go. Now we have the base of our envelope. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I think I will use this piece and it is out of like last year's lot of doodle bugs lots of love but i like it because it's got it's got pretty colors on it i'm not going to use this side because i kind of want to stick with the real soft theme but i thought i would use the polka dot side and i'm also going to use some scraps from the other one i've still got some scraps from the other one that i did so i'm going to decide if i want to put the polka dots on the back 
or if I want to put them on the front. Um, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I will put this on the back, okay? Or inside, I think I'll put it toward the front. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I like to line mine up and I'm gonna need to, let me get a little pencil here. See, last night when I was done crafting, I put stuff away, I'm so proud of myself. That don't happen often. Usually I leave the mess here and then I come in and load more. Okay, so you're gonna line it up. You wanna make sure your paper is gonna be up inside here. And you don't even have to make it the whole way down because it's gonna be down inside the envelope. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab my trimmer and I'm gonna cut this piece off where I made the little tick mark and I'm gonna cut it, okay? So now I have this piece and it will fit like down inside the envelope, okay? So now what you're going to need to do is you're going to have it down inside the envelope, okay? And I just like to kind of put mine like this and I come over here and I will draw around the edge so I know where, where to cut it. Okay, so I drew on there. Now I'm just gonna grab my scissors and I'm going to cut this part off. Now you could use this as a template for the back as well if you want to decorate the back, which I did of course. So now this will fit right down in here, but I wanna show a little bit of the pink. So I think I'm gonna shave off maybe um, a quarter of an inch or so from the bottom. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna shave off a little bit. I hope everybody had a great New Year's Eve. Today is January 1st, y'all. I cannot believe it. January 1st, 2023. Okay, so I've got this right here and I think I'm going to use Maybe I'll use this piece and I'm gonna go ahead and trace off for the back and that way I've already got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of trace. So let me, that way I have a template. And then that way I have it for in a few minutes. Now I'm gonna put that aside. So now what I'm gonna do is grab my tape and I'm going to do the polka dots coming outward so I'm just going to add a little tape just to hold this all in place because I am going to put this under my sewing machine you don't have to but I am going to do that so I'm just going to try to get this all lined up I want to make sure I'm showing the beautiful pink And there, okay? So now it will fit right inside and it already has made this from Grab the Fab, let me tell you. Okay, so then this piece will go here, okay? So now we're gonna need to decorate these other pieces and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that back piece so I've got it. Now it looks like my fold right here is kinda kind of tearing a little bit. So, you know, when that happens, just trim it. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim this one. That way then I have the back, I can go ahead and put the back on. And adding decorative paper to this is super fast. I think the hardest part is just deciding what color you wanna use. And that is my problem. What craft pattern, what paper I wanna use. Now I did place an order on scrapbook.com with some new Valentine paper. Okay, I'm gonna trim this, just that little quarter of an inch off the bottom. But yeah, I placed an order. I placed a couple of orders. 
just because sometimes it's nice to start with some nice fresh new designs. Okay, so moving that off the way, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to line this one up on the back, just like this, okay? So let me grab my tape. Made the I've made these so many times, and you know, I mean, back in the day, we're always making envelopes and stuff when the punch board was so popular, and it just really brought me so much joy just using my tools and um, creating something that turned out so pretty. I'm trying to make sure I get this lined up the best that I can. Gonna go down just a little there. Okay, so there we go. Now I've got my front and my back. Now we're gonna do these flaps and we only have to do the outside. So, let's see if I have a scrap for this piece and I think I do. And then I'll use my other paper for the other one. That way then it's all this pretty much the same. So what I'm gonna do is put this up inside like this. Let me see if that's going to be enough. I think it'll work. It'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim that off. And I'll have my piece there. So I hope everybody had a wonderful time last night on New Year's Eve, whether you went to bed. Believe it or not, I made it till about 1230. My husband said he didn't fall asleep till about two because he took a nap in the afternoon. So that was him. Me, I was snoring away and I'm sure I was snoring. This is how I am. Okay, so I've got that. I'm gonna need to trim off a little bit because I want that pink to show. And I'm gonna trim just a little bit off the bottom. And my trimmer that I am using, if you're interested, I am using the Cricut brand. I really like it. I, I have several different kinds and I really, really, I really like it. So okay, I'm going to flip this over so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now... This will go here. See, and that looked good already. And I'm going to use the other piece of paper that I have, and I'm going to do both of the same color on the sides. So I am going to. We'll see the print, how it's got a directional print. So I'm going to just try to trace it where it's going to be on the side there. That way the print's going the right way. Okay, so there's one and I'm just gonna trace the other one. So that will be for the other side. Okay, so trim it. So this one will go over here and I'm gonna trim a little bit of that off. And now I'm gonna do I'm going to do this way, flip it over, that way I have that print. No, I don't need to flip it over. Let me do it this way. Just trying to make sure that I have this correctly. Okay, I'm going to trim this off here. one's going to go here. This one is going to go right here. So that way I get them even. And the print goes the right way. Okay. So now I'm going to trim this one. If you're not using any kind of directional print, it wouldn't have mattered. You could have just cut them both. I want to make sure my print's going the right way. 
Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to put them back to back and I'm going to trim off a little bit. I'm just going to trim them like this. Okay, so now I'll have my paper all ready to go. So I'm going to put a little tape. You don't have to adhere this down really well because we're going to sew it. Okay, like this. And I'm going to do this one over here. So now, this is how our envelope will look. Isn't they going to be pretty? And we've got the back. So now we're going to go over to my sewing machine, and I'm going to show you how I stitch down on the paper. If you already know this, you're welcome to fast forward. But if you'd like to learn, or if you want a refresher, then come on over. Okay, so we're at my sewing machine. I'm going to start right over here sewing. I, uh, I do have my stitch link on a two. And um, I'm using a zigzag stitch. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with my thread over here. And I'm just gonna start right here. And I'm just gonna line the edge of my presser foot up with my paper. And I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna use my down feature. And I'm gonna pivot when it's time. The nice thing is it's gonna catch that back paper too. So okay. Pivot. And I've, I've got it out, need to move it over just a little. So I'm gonna line that up with my presser foot or with the edge of my presser foot. This is an option. You don't have to stitch your envelopes. I just thought it would be pretty. And I have had people ask me before how to sew paper. So this is how you sew paper. Okay, I'm gonna flip it. little side here. And believe it or not, I did backstitch. Okay, so there is that part. So let me cut this. I'll cut all the threads off in a few minutes. See how nicely that came out on the back? So nice. Okay, so now I'm going to do the side. So I'm going to start, and this was my tricky part of deciding which side to start on. Because you wanna, you're going to have to turn your project to sew. like my heart. I have a heart stitch. I should use that. That would have been really pretty. Okay, there's the side. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump my thing here. I don't have any scissors next to me at the moment. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so there we go. You can see how that looks. Let's move on over and do the other side. Okay, I'm gonna start, go down. one more and then I'm gonna lift it up I eat my scissors over here okay so let me go start over here and then I'll go down side just this end flap okay so I think I'll do the long part first if you're new to sewing this would be a good thing for you to do sew paper if you don't have a, a zigzag just use use this the kind of stitch that you want to do If you, all you have is a straight stitch, then go with the straight stitch. Okay, okay and then I'm going to see if I can turn this without tearing my envelope. There we go. Okay, so I had to stop for a second. My thread broke. It's because it got jammed on the top. But I've got it all fixed up and we're gonna finish this out. Okay, so now we're done. Finally grabbed that pair of scissors. Okay, so now let's get back over to my other table. Okay, so I quickly trimmed off a little bit of my threads. And this is what our envelope looks like. See the stitching? It turned out really, really nice. See that? And now all your paper is in place and so forth. Now what I did on this one is I kind of liked this part folded in. And I could have went ahead and cut that and stitched right there. Um, but I think that I might, well, I don't know, I might go ahead and just cut it. But or you can just fold it and hot glue it. That's what I did on the other one. So, what you can do is you can take it and you can fold it in or you can cut it. Let me just cut it. And then I'm gonna, I'll stitch across that really fast. And that kind of made it a little bit more polished. Okay, let me do a quick stitch here and I'll okay. be back. So the only part is it doesn't have any of the pink sticking out, but that's okay. And you can see there I stitched it. So now you're just gonna put your envelope together. So I've just got my hot glue going and I'm just gonna use my hot glue. And I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put hot glue going along right here. Okay, and I'm gonna do one side just hot glue that together and then I'm going to just use hot glue for the other side. You could almost say this video is kind of like back to the basics which we all need to remember that sometimes too. There you go. Look at that and what I did on this one I just added a little bow because I wanted to be simple but I might wait and if you want to use this as an envelope you can just fold it which I might do that, but I think I won't fold it yet, but you can just add like a flower or any, 
any embellishment that you want to add it on there and I think that they are so cute. Um, this one I just added a little bow. I had my stash. I just wanted it sweet and simple and so that's it. That is how you make an envelope and you sew it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it is helpful to you and um, yeah, I'm going to get working on my next projects because I really want to get my get going really good on my my uh, swap and I just want to make some fun things so I'll probably be back in a little while with my next ideas um, stay tuned love you guys bye